All right, lads. So let's talk about the gym, I guess. I haven't really touched upon this topic too much. So I thought I'd, you know, share a bit of my personal story. So as you can see, I was extremely skinny fat, bro. And this was mainly due to COVID, mental health, and just not knowing what to be, how to start exercising. Those sort of things mainly, bro. And in lockdown, this mainly started from a lot of anxiety, depression, as I said, in about 2019, I would say. And then obviously 2020 lockdown hit, everything shut down, it got crazier. And my mental and physical health both declined, bro. And I literally, as you can see, nearly weighed 100 kg, bro. If I'm correct, it was around 97, 98. So literally nearly 100 kg. And I'm only 5 foot 10. Obviously, that was at like 18 years old as well. All right, 18, 19. And my self-esteem was down the drain. Um, I didn't know what to do with my life. Obviously, it was COVID. Just gaming, like every other guy or most of the degenerate kids. And I'd been consuming, you know, a lot of fitness content and taking zero action, bro. That was the problem with me. I, I didn't know how to take action. I didn't want to take action because obviously it was too hard and learning a new thing. I was like, nah, I'm not having that. So I kept on consuming, consuming. Didn't know where to start and how to start, as I said. And what did actually I actually realize, bro, from what did I learn from this? This is the reason I wanted to share this, bro. So let's go through these. Everyone is lost. Even the guys that have the best physique, they don't even know the best form. There's mixed opinions in this in the fitness industry and in just exercise in general. So many different ways, so many different fad diets. And a lot of misinformation spread as well. And most influencers that you watch are on steroids. Always remember that. And you're never going to get physique anywhere near them unless you jump on a steroid cycle as well. So remember that, bro. For naturals, it's a lot different. Training, diet-wise, everything. Look at Sam Sulek. He's, obviously, he has a great personality. That's why people love him. But he's on steroids, bro. You're not going to be anything like him. If anyone is trying to, has that in their, you know, in their mind that they're going to somehow become him in a few years, just get out, bro. You're not going to. That's only achievable with steroids, which is the reason you can eat so dirty and still gain muscle and can, you know, be so shredded. So co stop comparing yourself to these influencers out there, bro. And it's really stupid because, as I said, as naturals, which is most of you guys probably would be, starting out 100%, you're not going to jump on a steroid cycle and it's pretty much pointless anyway, especially for your health. So, especially starting out, you don't need to listen to all these guys telling you go hard seven every single day you need to be in the gym, bro. In these motivational videos, bro. Like, calm down. Any exercise is better than none. Now, what do I mean by this, bro? Obviously not doing, you know, clapped exercises. That's not going to give you any benefit, like, I don't know, a toe curl or something. I'm talking, like, even walking. That's some form of, that's a form of exercise, bro. It's better than sitting at home, lying in your bed and scrolling TikTok, bro. All right? And I also realized I was very weak. As I said, your body becomes very dull when you've not been exercising, as I was, well, I, I didn't for many years. After school, till I did, you know, here and there, just jumped on that exercise bike maybe once in a blue moon. As I said, when I had the motivation or something like that, probably watched a video the night before. But I was not never consistent, and especially with weights as well. I was scared of them. I'm not gonna lie, I literally was scared of them, bro. I was like, no, I'm gonna shrink, especially back in 
when I first joined the gym, like ever, when I was 15, 16, my dad got me a membership and I didn't even look at the weights because I had that in my back of my mind. I was like, now weights are going to decompress my spine or something. That's what I was thinking, bro. Stupid. Weights do not decrease your hypo. If anything, they'll give you a growth hormone increase. I wish I knew that. And watching other people exercise isn't exercising, bro. Simple as that. I had hours, I spent hundreds, thousands of hours probably watching these guys, Conor Murphy, Jeff Side, David Lade, all these early <clears throat> Gymshark athletes, all these guys, bro, back, back then, Christian Guzman and Joe Lidner, RIP to them. That was my guy. He used to watch him while I was fake revising. And yeah, well, it's not exercising, bro. Sure, you can have it on, you know, when you're eating your meal after you've worked out yourself, hopefully, but it's not the same, bro. You're not going to build muscle watching other people build muscle and most of them on stoves. Sorry to say, bro. And you will figure it out, bro. Calm down. Don't worry. People, Arnold didn't become Arnold overnight. That's a bad example because he's on steroids. But he was on steroids. But you will figure it out, bro. You're not going to know how to exactly do the best percentage of chest press You'll figure out your body will tell you your joints it all comes with practice bro and taking action so what can you do right now today stop comparing limit social media especially instagram and tiktok they're extremely evil bro and even youtube because of the shorts thing now and why you're probably thinking why why do i need a limit social media to start taking action in the gym or just start exercising if you want to just go for walks well you're going to watch these guys on social media one guy's telling you do this exercise another guy's saying this is bad for your knees another guy's saying water is bad which it is but we'll get into it <laughs> different fluoride yeah D different topic but anyway watching these guys on social media extremely ripped and massive at the same time which by the way is impossible for a natural lifter if you ever wanted to know that and extremely shredded at the same time as well as big you can't do that as a natural lifter you have to be one or the other you have to sacrifice your six-pack to be bulked and massive or you have to look kind of skinny in a shirt and hoodie if you want to you know be shredded it's one one or the other right and now begin with any exercise man please stop waiting as i say for the right time there's never going to be a right time so get out of there now even bro get down now pause <laughs> just do a few push-ups some sit-ups some squats some bodyweight squats bro I remember when I started bodyweight squats, I couldn't even do a few. I couldn't even do like 20 would, probably 15 actually, would make me extremely tired, bro. So imagine how out of shape I was, yeah? So yeah, bro, start with any type of exercise. It doesn't matter what it is. Obviously, don't injure yourself and start repping out 100 kg, which you won't be able to do, by the way. So just start, bro. I would advise doing a few calisthenics moves first so just push-ups maybe invest in a pull-up bar that most likely you won't want to go to the gym right now because you'll be self-conscious so start in the gym gain confidence and you will gain experience at the same time whilst taking action bro and diet bro this is a massive one for mental health and physical and gains in the gym I didn't abide by this for a long time. I don't know. They're waffling these guys. You know, I can eat cookie crisp every day. 
and still be shredded, but you no, know, you can't, especially as a natural lifter, bro. Right? Especially when you're getting into the gym and starting exercise. My philosophy is well, I don't know if it's mine, but I stole it now, so change your diet for your health, not your desires. So what does this mean? Well a really dumbed down version. For your health, you're gonna eat a chicken breast, right? Or some steak, fish. For your desires, you're gonna pick up that Kit Kat, Kit Kat bar, some Ben and Jerry's ice cream. That's your desires talking. Every time you do that, think in your mind, am I gonna reach to my goals? I'm not saying take away everything, like these guys demonizing every single thing first i would say reduce your intake of seed oils which also is estrogenic and that's a whole different topic as well and i made a video on that if you want to watch that but reduce that um, those are very bad for mental health as well i didn't know that obviously now i know and reduce processed food bro that's mainly what's causing your gut health and making you tired and lethargic, bro. So yeah, eat for health and not your desires. Because your desires are not gonna get you to your goals. And yeah, I already mentioned, go for walks. So start off going for walks, bro. Clear your mind. This helps both physically, being in a calorie deficit if you wanna lose weight, or even just if you're bulking as well, bro, it's good. Getting the Blood circulating, yeah. And get out of the first phase ASAP, bro. What do I mean by this? The first phase is when you're procrastinating, when you're thinking, you don't want to take action, you don't know how to. Well, you do, you just take action, but you've got it in your mind, you don't know how to. Which everybody does, bro. I promise you. So, get out of there, bro. Start taking action right now. Do push-ups, pull-ups. Get any type of equipment you want. If you have a kettlebell at home, some sort of dumbbell, anything, bro. Body weight, it doesn't matter, bro. Just start doing things right now. Start exercising. Go for a walk, two-minute walk, doesn't matter. Go for a little jog, whatever, whatever it is, bro. Just get out of this phase, bro. I promise you it will be better. And the last one, ask for help, bro. This is simple, bro. I was like, no, I can figure it out myself back then. I can just watch these videos. But truth be told, if you have someone to guide you, the journey is going to be a lot faster easier you're gonna learn from those mistakes the people that tell you and you can learn from your own mistakes of course but that takes time bro so reach out bro if you want to reach out to me then sure just put it in the comments bro but reach out to anyone maybe a family member if you want to be held accountable or if you don't then someone online and i'd glad to help you out as well bro so let me know if this helped as well and i'll see you guys in the next one